Trevino began the 2022 campaign backing up Higashioka. Yankee fans subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest Yankees news. He did appear on opening day, but it was as a defensive replacement after a pinch hitter was sent up for Higashioka. Early on, Trevino maybe got a little more playing time than your average backup catcher, but it was still very much a timeshare deal. Around the end of May his bat started to catch fire. From May 24th to June 22nd, he OPS'd 1.116 and basically usurped the starting job. He was good enough in the first half that he was named to the AL All-Star team. Trevino's defense remained consistently great all season, while obviously an All-Star berth was beyond expectations for Trevino in 2022. His season outpaced anything he had done to that point in his career in general. The only other time he came remotely close to the 91 WRC plus he put up last year was his 89 in 2020. That was, of course, the COVID-shortened season, and he only played 24 games and made 82 plate appearances. The fact that 2022 was an outlier and that Trevino fell away some in the second half is why the projections for his 2023 don't look that impressive. Even if Trevino regresses to his hitting numbers from before last year, he could still end up being a very valuable player. That's because his defense is that good. Last year, he ranked as literally the best framing catcher in all of baseball. It would be good if Trevino can keep up the league average-ish hitting, but even if he takes a step back, he can still be a very valuable player. Jose Trevino was one of the more fun stories on the Yankees last year. He looks set to still be an integral part of the team in 2023. Yankee fans subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest Yankees news.